sometimes in the percussion section, we're given a part that calls for gong, or sometimes we're given a part that calls for tam-tam. But what's the difference between those? In 99% of the situations that either gong or tam-tam are called for, the composer intends this instrument, which is a large concert gong, or also known as a tam-tam. There's some discussion, variation, maybe even argument about what the proper terminology is, but rest assured, unless you see a part that calls for a specific pitch, the composer intends this instrument. The tam-tam can either be set up so that it's facing the audience or so that it's perpendicular to the audience. Because it's a large metal instrument, it requires a lot of weight to get it moving. So a tam-tam beater or a gong beater tends to be whoa, pretty heavy so that we can get a lot of weight and impact into the gong. One thing that's a common practice is to get the instrument warmed up or already vibrating a little bit before the attack. And the reason being is because that will help the sound blossom a lot faster than when you strike a dead instrument or an instrument that's not moving. So depending on where you hit the gong, you'll get either a darker tone or a little bit brighter tone that speaks faster. Here's an example. Strike the instrument just a few times softly, right in the center. And a little bit off center. To dampen the ring of the instrument, take your non-dominant hand and you can either dampen on the front or on the back. Depending on the instrument, I might also use my leg to dampen the sound. Now the tam-tam is one of the few percussion instruments that we have that actually swells or gets louder after the attack. You need to be right on top of the beat when we play this instrument because it's going to be speaking a little later than some of the other instruments that we play. Because this instrument rings so well, when your part calls for a roll, we don't need anything very fast. In fact, there have been many times when I just simply use one mallet to exact a roll or a swelling sound on the gong. However, using two mallets is also a good way to play a roll on gong. You don't have to roll too fast. Sometime for a special effect, a composer might call for the tam-tam to be scraped with a triangle beater or with a coin. 